Hello everyone. First off, I'd like to apologize for this long overdue update. Uh, I did return home in the United States at the beginning of March, but I was hospitalized um, with probably the most uh, painful experience of malaria that I've ever had. Um, so I did. I was able to get treatment in these last few weeks. I've been recovering uh, fairly quickly, so I am happy to be here sharing uh, updates and stories and pictures with you. So with that said, I'd like to announce that we and The Good Project have successfully completed our last expedition to Yanomami territory. Generally, after these trips, the team gets together to discuss what has transpired, share notes, documents, photos, and stories. But in light of the recent coronavirus pandemic, um, these team meetings have been postponed and our offices are currently closed. But uh, we would still like to share with you some of the highlights and, and, and a little bit of what we learned on, on our last expedition. So as you know, it is part of our mission to increase our knowledge, our experiences, so that we are uh, better equipped to work uh, on a local, national, and international scale um, with programs that benefit the Yanomami people and address some of the contemporary challenges that they are experiencing. So when I look at a photo like this, you know, I see a people that live in harmony with the Amazon, as they did for a long, long time. Their existence and way of life um, actually preserves the Amazon um, and, and the ecosystem and the lands in which they depend upon. When I look at a photo like this, I also see a people that depend on the ecosystem and the land in which they live upon, but they don't absolutely or necessarily preserve it. Uh, they, they consume it, they burn it, they use it up, contaminate it. Um, and there are a lot of preservation programs going on both in the Amazon and in the United States. Um, but nevertheless, we are experiencing year after year basis more and more degradation, more and more destruction and increased um, climate change and so on. We feel that the more you get to know a people well, um, the better you get to understand them, the more, the more connected we become. So well, I, do, I do thank you for taking the time to post these comments and questions. And to me, to us, it shows that you care uh, and then you're eager to learn more. Um, while this is my personal blog, I do invite you to go on the Good Project Facebook page and check out the website, jointhegoodproject.org, where you can learn a little bit more about the work that we're doing and support our cause. Okay, so after reviewing comments and questions across my social media platforms, I have noticed a pattern, and that is that everyone has been asking about a particular person, and that is my mom, Yarima. Um, did she make it to the U.S.? Did she meet her kids? Is she okay? Is she back home? So I am um, eager to also answer those questions for you, but I think that warrants a whole separate video. So check back soon and I will share some of the stories and photos of what it was like um, getting my family back together, as well as sort of more um, difficult challenges of not only hosting my mom, but hosting a Yanomami Amazonian woman who, you know, doesn't know how to conduct everyday activities that we take for granted, such as go to the store, or how to use money, or even buy underwear, or um, it, it, the list goes on and on. So uh, while some of it was comical and some of it not so comical, but this sort of, you know, cross-cultural cross um you know, experience between a son who has been born and raised in the world of the Naba in, 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 you know, and then you have a woman who was born and raised in the Amazon who lives the ways of the hunter-gatherer gardeners and the two worlds meet here <laughs> was, um, it was very interesting to say the least. So I look forward to sharing some of that with you. Well, I'll see you all soon. Thank you.